NBC Connecticut's Brisita Landaverde spoke with a woman whose mother is there, and Brisita, she's adamant on staying in her home. Yeah, Mike and Keisha, that is right. Now, we spoke to a married woman who says her mom is not leaving her home in Sarasota, Florida. That's her decision, and she's sticking to it, which raises some concerns for her daughter back here in Connecticut. Florida is bracing for Hurricane Milton. The storm is expected to make landfall Wednesday, bringing in devastating winds and dangerous storm surge. I grew up in Sarasota from 13 to 19, so I was there for quite, you know, quite a few hurricanes, and uh, they were pretty scary. Kimberly Inglis lives in Meriden, but her mom lives in Sarasota, Florida. Right now, her mom says she's prepared to hunker down in her home. The last hurricane that they had about a week or two ago, she told me to stop calling her to sit down and have a drink and to leave her alone. This is not her first rodeo. As many as 15 million people are under flood watches. We're deploying folks by the hour as we're speaking. The American Red Cross started deploying crews from Connecticut Sunday night and more volunteers are expected to leave in the coming days. And those volunteers will be sent to either Orlando or Tallahassee or someplace in the impact zone to get ready for evacuation shelters first and foremost and then transition to longer term sheltering if needed. The organization is in a continuous response mode. For Hurricane Helene, more than three dozen volunteers from Connecticut traveled to the south to help with recovery efforts. Now they're calling on more volunteers to help fill the pipeline. As people go through uh, the two-week to three-week cycle of deployment, they will be, need to be replaced by others. And these are, you know, people who are dealing face-to-face -face with, with folks that have just about lost everything in some cases. Now, for more information on how you can volunteer, you could head to our website. That's NBCConnecticut.com. And then coming up at 6 this evening, we'll have details on how Hurricane Helene impacted blood donations and how you can help right here in Connecticut.